on quarantine, eating like the restaurants. All the restaurants closed, but we got to Chef JD in the building coming through. to Luciano TV and today we got a special video for y'all since we're on self-quarantine and we can't go to no restaurants and go eat and we're tired of eating the same old thing here we got Chef JD in the building he gonna teach us how to make something healthy today and Kelly Jean how to bake some desserts so if you're new to this channel my name is Kelly Jean and I'm Lucky Lou this is Chef JD make sure you stay true hit the like button and don't be a hater all your life make sure you subscribe right now I'm like super, 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 super excited, you guys. I have been like dying for some apple pie. I bought some at Sprouts the other day, but you know, there's nothing like a home cooked. I don't apple even think pie. I ever ate a homemade apple pie. I have, I have. When he go. When he said he was gonna make an apple pie, I thought he was gonna make a come with like a you know one of those crusts already crust and just put the apple stuff inside the apple filling. But he's coming with actual apples and cinnamon. And we finna make an apple pie from scratch. He got a whole little book. What? I got y'all's recipes right here. Ah! What's on the menu? Uh, we gotta start with the apple pie because the crust itself takes a little while. We gotta let it sit in the fridge. Uh, we gotta marinate the apples, let them drain. Marinate them. And then we're gonna make an apple roast tart. So ain't gonna be no uh, no crust on top. We're gonna line them up in circles and circles. It's gonna look like a rose. Aww. And then we're gonna do, uh, we got some chicken over here. The, these are quarters, but we're going to cut them up and use the thighs. We're going to braise them. Uh, and then we got some Brussels sprouts right here. We're going to cut them in half on a pan sear those, get them nice and crispy. And what else do we got for the side? Oh, the potatoes. We're going to make some really good creamy red mashed potatoes. And then we got some garnishes right there, uh, some balsamic vinegar, different types of oil that we're going to use. We even got fresh peppercorns. We got, I don't know if y'all can see that, but black, green, and pink. We're going to crush those up. Got Mexico, pink so salt makes all the difference. Got all your nutrients right there. And uh, I mean, that's it. This is what we're using right here. And it's all going to come together. In a little bit. Hey, sprinkle me, sprinkle me, sprinkle me, <laughs> sprinkle me. Ah, so excited. Are you excited, Wait, King? What are we all making today? Like, he just said. Just, I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Chicken. 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 Again, it's about a quarter cup, so I'm just gonna kind of top it off. Step one. One and one quarter. One and one, yeah. One and one, one, one quarter, so four quarter cups is a couple. Put five. So you need of five of them. Yep. <clears throat> five cups of flour. No, five <laughs> quarter cups of flour. There you go. Or one and a quarter cup total. Yeah. And we don't got a measuring cup, so we're oh, using wait, that's improvised. Measuring cups? That's the other thing about baking. You got to be pretty precise, but some things you can kind of. You can kind of get away with and this is i would say this is one of them so how many sp spoons of sugar uh two oh, teaspoons but we don't got a teaspoon we got a baby spoon so we're doing heaping baby spoons we got a bigger spoon than that oh all right and then it says one stick of butter all right uh but the butter i don't think i noted it on there we gotta freeze it we gotta freeze it yeah so we got to cube it and freeze it. Why, okay, why are we freezing the butter? We're going to cube it and we're going to freeze it. What is cube it? Like cut it in a cube? Yeah. So I'll show you real quick. So we got a stick of butter. We're just going to cut it in half. And then we're going to cut these halves in half lengthwise. Okay. Like that. Line them up, then cube it. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna freeze them. We're gonna freeze it because whenever 
uh, we mix it into our flour mixture over there. We want them to stay frozen and we want them to break down into like little bits. That's how you make a flaky pie crust. Yeah. If you just melt it and mix it in, it's going to be real dense. But the way it works is whenever you got those pockets of butter in there and they're baking, they melt. So there's like a little pocket of butter, it melts, and then it expands. And that's how you get that flaky pie crust. Otherwise, it's not going to be the same. Are y'all taking notes? Freeze your butter. That's how you make a flaky pie crust. I'm already nervous. Like, I'm not going to be able to do this without him. <laughs> so I just got it like that. Hold on, chef. I need you to tell everybody how important it is to rinse their veggies and their fruits and everything. Rinse it, man. Most stuff comes from the dirt, whether it's organic or not. If it's organic, it comes from the dirt. It might have shit in the crevices. If it's not organic, it might have pesticides on it. Uh, a lot of times what people will do is get a bowl of water, put a little bit of vinegar in it, and uh, soak it in there for a while. Kind of shake it around. It'll get all that stuff off. But always, always rinse your greens, rinse your vegetables. So that's what we're doing right now. We're rinsing everything. He already rinsed all of this right here. Now he's uh, rinsing the apples. Now we're rinsing the apples. I ain't gonna lie, I be forgetting to rinse everything. When I cook, I be so hungry, I just grab the greens, start chopping everything up, throw it in the pan. I be like, if you got anything on there, it's gonna cook up, it's gonna burn up when I throw it on the pan. How many of y'all think like Lucky? <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you why I stopped doing that because I made me a salad the other day and I had I was saying oh it's a good salad I got some kale I got some lettuce thinking I'm gonna just eat good and healthy and I took a one bite of that salad and it was number dirt in my it tasted a bunch of sand I was chewing on sand I felt it in my teeth and I had a big bowl of salad and I was like I already put the dressing on it and everything so I couldn't just stop eating it or go wash it so wait you ate it you I still ate it, ate it? Like, every bite I, could, I was like maybe that was just the first bite and then I was like I took another bite of the same thing sand every time I bit and I had to eat the whole bowl of salad like that oh my goodness so we're still waiting on the butter to freeze up um but we are gonna start off with the crust for the pie so I'm super excited for that and then as he washes the veggies and everything that we need for the actual meal, uh, we're gonna prep and wait for us to get started on this pie. We're making chicken and mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. We've never had, well, not that we've never had Brussels sprouts. Have you ever? We've never cooked them. We I, I always wanted to buy them at the store, but I never knew how to make them. So we can say, chef, teach us how to make them so we can make them. I just want to give a huge shout out to Lucky because I was like, babe, I want to take a culinary class. And he was like, oh, let's just call the chef. <laughs> <laughs> and literally in two days, he got the Make chef. Hey, baby, I'll answer oh, yeah. all your dreams. I'll make all your dreams come true, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's called caramelization. Y'all don't got uh, a core, do you? A core? Like, a, like to punch out the core? No, yeah. I don't even know what that is. All right, well, this is the other way to do it. So you'll basically... And then you see the core right there, which you need to take out. We're just going to make a V cut. So just carefully go down one side and then come to the other side, go down and meet that first cut. Take it out like that. Still see a little bit, so we'll do a little bit more. All right, let her try the other one. All right. You nervous? Yeah. I don't usually get nervous, but, but when I do, so you grabbed it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go down at an angle until you get to that center. I'll cut your hand. Instead of going back and forth, do like a, like a rocking. A wiggly? Thing. Yeah. A rocking. Like, like back and forth like, like this? this. No, down. up and down. Here you go. Like that. Like that. Oh. Until you get to the center, about right there, and then do it on the other side. Same thing. And try to meet that first cut. Yeah, well. <laughs> ah! I feel like it's like so much tension because y'all are watching me. Boy, you're on camera with you. <gasps> <laughs> the <camera> on <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we slicing. Slicing and dicing. So I'm gonna slice them pretty thin. About that thick, maybe even a little thinner because we want them to be able to turn without snapping like that. So like that. We want them to be able to flex just oh, a little okay, bit. Okay, I see. Right. So what type of apples do you need? Does it matter? Uh, these are Fuji's. You can use Granny Smith. You can use Golden Delicious. Whatever is available at the store and looks good. So again, 
pretty thin, all right? You want them to be able to blend, or I'm sorry, bend without snapping. Yep. But again, it's because we're doing the apple rose tart. So a regular apple pie wouldn't... Regular apple pie, require. grandma's apple pie, they just chop it into chunks and, and it looks like a mess. But we're trying to make some art here. Okay, so we got the lemon zest in there. Got the lemon zest, we're about to put some lemon juice. We got white sugar and brown sugar so far. Alright, so these are all with the skin. Now we'll go ahead and do some of that. So like by the time we're gonna put the chicken we'll come out of but we gotta let it cool too whenever it comes out of the oven. When you take it out of the oven, it's really, really hot, you try to cut it, it's just gonna fall apart. see people in the movies and the TV shows leave it on the windowsill to cool for a bit. Yeah. Mm. That's a lot of apple? Well, no, we need a lot of apple because it's going to be, we're going to layer it in circles, like in layers, oh, until so it gets to the center. So how many of that? That was three already. Right? <laughs> three times that I dropped it? No. <laughs> it's no, about three apples. Three apples. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was the third time. I didn't even know I dropped it. I just I think that'll be enough, but maybe we can do one more just to be safe. I'd rather really have too much, but not enough, and then we gotta re season them again. Can we keep going? Uh, that's probably enough. Do I just go like this? Uh, stand it up. Go like this? Yep. Make sure you gotta do this. Just put this, like, rest it on there, and hold it in place, and then we'll get it. This is nice. This is nice. I think it's nice and how do we know when it's enough? Oh gosh, this smells so fresh and so good. Are you scared me? <laughs> I didn't know it's enough. Uh, when it looks like enough, almost half an inch. Can you measure half an inch in your head? Yeah, it's like this is an inch. Yeah, kind of like. So I'll, I'll just go to this little guy. Yeah, somewhere. We can always get it. But cinnamon and apple is hard to put too much. You can go wrong with it. Try your best not to break them though. Be gentle, but make sure to get a little bit of everything on all the slices. Ooh, like so you just massage them. Yeah, just massage them. So like those groups right there, you gotta break them all yeah, up. That's all right. Go to the bottom, scoop it up. Don't wanna mess them up. Yeah, it would help to have a real big mixing bowl, but I forgot mine. Hey, look, hella juicy. Why? Now why are you putting those well, on? Well, check it out. Look at the bottom of the bowl already. Oh my gosh. See all that juice? What? So if you put those apples inside of your pie crust without doing this part and draining it, you're just going to have a soggy ass crust at the bottom. So I just like go, oh my gosh. And the sugar that. is what drains all the water out of the apples? The sugar and the salt. Sugar and the salt. That's crazy. Oh, let me just put that all on there. But right now, what's most important is we want the spices on every slice. Yes. That's what I'm trying to do. Here, Chef, I think you're here, let me do it. No, dad, dad, dad. Let dad get in there. He hasn't gotten in there. Oh, so I thought I thought I was to be gentle. You can do it like that. Well, that's still being gentle. Uh, I am being gentle, boy. Okay, if I know that now, then I can do it now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know. Just, just don't squeeze. Just use your hands more like a squeeze. Let me have some. <gasps> All right, we got the chicken. Now what we doing? So I bought these, this is all they have at the store right now. These are quarters, meaning it's the thigh and the drumstick connected. But for this dish, I just want the thigh, so we're gonna separate it. And if you look underneath right here, kind of where they connect, this little area, that's about where you wanna cut. So check it out. You can even feel with your finger where you need to put your knife. I got a boning knife right here. I got a cutting board that I only use for chicken because I don't wanna be cross-contaminating. And then I put foil all around the work area again, just so that I can keep it clean and this minimal cleanup afterwards. So I'm gonna put my knife right there and just cut it off. That's it. So I got one. I'm gonna get the other one. Skin on because you want that flavor, that, that fat tastes good. 
So again, just that fat tastes good. <laughs> what do you see me doing? It's crushing pepper. Now look, this is look. Hold it like this. Don't you see it? Try to get it. Like hold it close to you like this, and then go like that. Okay. Okay. I got you. It's heavy though. Be careful. You see, I still crushed. It's not all the way crushed yet. Let me bring that up for my pepper. Yeah. Don't breathe too much in there. <laughs> breathe away. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's how you do it, Kingsman. <laughs> You're gonna get a big pinch, right? Big pinch. We're not being salt bay here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so up high, because if you go right here, you're just gonna drop a pile right there. But up high, it spreads as it falls. So just like that. So look what I'm doing with my fingers. I'm just wiggling my fingers. Did you just throw some shade at salt bay? <laughs> no, salt bay is cool, but do he that. said we're not doing all that salt bay stuff. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to, but. But practice first, so just like that, the all right? The shade. So, <laughs> no, I do, I do admire the dude. He, he came out real quick, and he does know what he's doing. All right, so again, just real high. You got three fingers, and then just wiggle your fingers to let it come down. Okay, let me do a practice, a practice shot. Okay, I like them, so All right, sprinkle some of that Himalaya. Check it out. This one's a little different because it's real, real fine, and you can accidentally drop too much at one time. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is, this is the stuff that we do during quarantine. So, you're going to open that up. Your hands are clean, right? Hands yes, are dry. I just washed them. Yes, right. they're dry. Wait, so put the right open it up. Yep, open it up. I'm go ahead and just put it on the, on the surface. You're making some tortillas and you want to go in every direction and try to keep it as much like of a that? circle as you can yep are coming out perfect and dad right now looked like the gremlin when you did that i'm right just now. ready to eat i'm ready to eat it up he just chopped on you he just called you a gremlin no i said that face that you made no. like you went like this and you look like the gremlin i'm gonna yeah. eat and then i'm gonna go lay down and knock out or probably binge watch something on that i gotta edit this vlog after i eat y'all type down below in the comments any oh. binge worthy series on netflix because i've been going in on netflix you guys how y'all holding up with this quarantine y'all let me know just brushing it with some more eggs so we can get that crust a little browner so you're gonna throw it back in there yep it's not ready yet mm. 
So I don't know if y'all remember him um, roasting the walnut, but this is what they were for. It's looking delicious. Still working on the drizzle for the pie. Let me show y'all the pie. Yum. So he legit just added some balsamic vinegar to this bowl of Brussels sprouts and the nuts. And then he chopped up some cilantro, which is amazing to me because I would have never thought of mixing this with that. Got that drizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> oh man, it looks good. It's Presentation, or what do y'all call this? Yeah. This place. Waiting presentation. Presentation matters because you gotta eat with your eyes first. Presentation is everything. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna spread it like that. Leave a little bit of space on the sides because I want to try something. Then we'll get some of the Brussels sprouts where my tongue's at. No day to eat. Oh, on quarantine, eating like the restaurants, all the restaurants closed, but we got to Chef JD in the building coming through. Hey, man, hey, man. I'm kind of hating that your piece of chicken is bigger than mine. Mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and chicken. Bon appetit. All right, how'd y'all like your meal? Dang, I love it. That was the first time trying Brussels sprouts. They're good. We're gonna let y'all know how it tastes, man. Mm. I'm missing some of the crust in the bottom. All right, I'm gonna be the taste tester and see what it do. I want to get two slices. Oh, and what is this? Whipped cream. Cinnamon whipped cream. Cinnamon homemade whipped cream. All right, I'm finna let y'all know. Don't mind Houston over there running his mouth, but I'm finna, I'm finna let y'all know how what it do. I ain't gonna lie, I never tasted a pie like this before. Mmm, that's good. I ain't gonna lie, the best part is the crust. Huge shout out to Chef JD because like he did his damn. I can't believe, look, I ate two slices of pie. So I'm not sorry about that. I'm drinking coffee, uh, but we're about to finish off the vlog here. I wanna know, are you gonna be able to make that next time by yourself? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Anyways, like he's about to give his birthday shout out. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me see here, where we at, where we at, where we at. Before we get on out of here, we want to give some happy birthday shout outs and we appreciate y'all for watching. So the first birthday shout out goes to Evelyn Mesa, turning 39 years old. Happy birthday to you. Another happy birthday shout out goes to Alex Derazas. Happy birthday to you. Happy seventh birthday to Jeremiah Mays. Happy birthday to you, little homie, in Farmington, New Mexico. And last but not least, we want to give a happy birthday shout out to Janet Cervantes from the RGB. I ain't nothing but love. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. We will be back. You watching Luciano TV.